Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I will show you how to install net data on your OpenWRT router and then we are going to add the OpenWRT node to the netdata.cloud so that we can manage it from the cloud or from the internet. For this tutorial, I'm using the HP T620 Plus. It is running x86 OpenWRT platform. So if you're using a different routers or architecture, the tutorial may not work, but you're welcome to try and share the results on the comment section. Before we get started, make sure that you have navigated to netdata.cloud and register an account. And once you sign in, there will be a web UI like this. So right here, we can create our room. And let me create the first room, for example, OpenWRT instance all right and hit add so now we have a room and in order to add the node to the netdata.cloud rooms we need to run some of the command and netdata has made for us so we can just copy and paste it however before we can do this we need to install the netdata packet on the router so here is the guide and we can do it with the command line. So I'm using the liner with pre-built static binary right here. And let's open the command line interface. So 192.168.8.1 in the management IP address of the OpenWRT router. Hit open and log in. Root and my passwords. Let me change the phone so that you can see it clearer section setting appearance change it to 12 all right it will take a look this command involves two package bash and curl so make sure it is installed so let's run it opkg update to update the package database And then OPKG install bash. And then OPKG install CURL. Let's copy and paste the command on the command line interface. Syntax error. So there's something wrong. So let's try to download the script and run it manually. So we will do it with wget. Just copy it. wget and this is the URL and hit enter. Day and error message when downloading the package with SSL and it requests us uh, to install the lead Ustream package. All right, so I have no idea what are the package. So let's check them with Lucy. So system, shopware. So there are several upstream SSL library and let's try with open SSL. All right, so let's run the command. Perfect. We can download the script and here it is. ls kickstar-static64.sh All right, so now we need to run it and let's do this by bash kickstar64. Let's run it. And the installation process is now starting. So right here, there's some of the dialogue. Hit Y to accept and hit N to refuse. Of course, we accept the term of service. So Y, hit enter. So 
So net data has been successfully installed on the OpenWRT routers and we can access to the GUI at 192.168.8.1 and in your case it may be .1.1 so colon 19999 Net data is running but you can only access to it locally in order to manage it from the cloud you need to add the node to the netdata.cloud by this command all right so open up the rt instant this is the room and when i click on the add button there is the instruction just right here so netdata clam dash at h so right here we are in the root directory so let's navigate to slash opt slash netdata and we can copy and paste the command hit enter net data dash clam dot h not file so let list the directory um we can find the net data dash clam so maybe it is located on the bin directory so cd bin all right so ls one more time and this is the net data dash clam dot h all right so this script is located in opt slash net data slash bin all right so now let's run the command for the second time copy that right click to paste in hit enter not found so it will my bet in order to run it we need to change this one to dot and then forward slash just like this and hit enter all right i need open lsl to process but it is not available on this system all right i'm fine so no worry we can still install that open lsl package and this is the package name open ssl dash ut so opkg install open ssl dash ut hit enter and now it should work so let's run the command again perfect the process you started and the node was successfully clamped and if we back to the OpenWRT instance, we should be able to see our node right here. So if you go to the node section, you will see the T620P, which is our OpenWRT routers. And right here, we can see all the information just like how we see it locally. Right, so still the CPU, the LOD, the disk, the RAM, the firewall status, and some other thing. Net data has been successfully installed on the routers and it is available on the netdata.cloud war room. So let's run the speed test and see if the statistics is updated on the cloud. Let's go. all right so we are having around 257 for the download and it should be reflected right here all right so here we are we can see that the net inbound and outbound is 225 so something like that however there are a little bit of delay maybe something we need to work on to improve it maybe the network latency and thing like that but anyway net data on the cloud is working for OpenWRT x86 so that's all for this tutorials and if you see the video in headphone please share it with your friends who need it if there are any idea or questions feel free to leave it in the comment section and we will discuss further thanks for watching and i will be see you all in the next video bye bye